Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a simple color to black and white fade in Adobe Premiere Pro. So I'm pulling the inspiration from this effect from the new visual that dropped for Justin Bieber's song To You with all the Victoria's Secret models, and this desaturated black and white to color effect is kind of the main theme of the video. And it's pretty simple to do. So I've got a clip on the timeline, and there's more than one way that you could do this, but I'm going to show you my favorite and most flexible, in my opinion, workflow. So let's go to the project media bin and go to file new adjustment layer. What this does is creates a new blank adjustment layer in the project media bin, which we can click and drag on a track over top of all of our clips and begin applying effects onto this. So there's many ways to create a black and white effect and there's tons of different black and whites that you can do. But just to keep it simple, I'll highlight the adjustment layer. I'll go to the Lumetri color panel on the right hand side and in the basic correction section, I'll turn the saturation all the way down, and then you can adjust things like contrast, exposure, and, and all that if you want. That's a very simple black and white by just desaturating it, but you can always go into the curves and other sections here and adjust the shadows and highlights. So once you have the adjustment layer ready, now we have to transition from the adjustment layer to the color effect. And we can do this back and forth. And we can do this using opacity keyframes. See, with adjustment layers, when you use fade default transitions like cross dissolve, it doesn't work exactly how you'd imagine. It actually turns black for a second and fades the adjustment layer in, which isn't what we want. Instead, we'll highlight the clip, go to the opacity section, and make sure the stopwatch icon is turned on to toggle animation, and now we can adjust from 0 to 100% or however much strength we want. So at the beginning of the clip, I could start at 0% strength for this adjustment layer. That means that the everything underneath is showing, which is just our original color clip. And then I'll move right over here. I'll create another keyframe at 0, just so we block this area off to be fully 0. And then starting from this point on, I can make it turn to black and white when she places her hands against the glass. So I'll press 100% here. And from the time it goes from this keyframe to this keyframe, it'll turn black and white. Now I'll move a little bit forward. I'll place another keyframe just to make sure that this entire area is solid 100%. And then if I wanted to fade back to color, I could go to the end of the adjustment layer and take it down to zero. And now you see we have a, a couple keyframes where it goes from zero to 100. It stays at 100 until this keyframe, and then it transitions back to zero. So playing that back, you can see what it looks like. Color, and then it goes to black and white slowly. It's a gradual fade and then it gradually fades back into color. So you can actually use this same concept with basically any effects that you want to place on the adjustment layer. And I like it a little bit better than the method of just duplicating the original clip, applying the black and white or whatever effects onto the duplicated clip and using cross dissolve transitions, just because although this works in the same way and you might think it's a little bit more simple, if anything gets misaligned, then it no longer works. Things start to fade in a weird way. And if you're working with several different cuts or more layered and sequence compositions, it'll just be a little bit more difficult to manage in my opinion. So that's why I like the adjustment layer method. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And even though it was a simple effect, hopefully you picked up some tips in the workflow and can apply this type of fade for any effect that you want. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like on it below. Let me know what you thought in the comments and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of my new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.